okay, this is a problem from a Calculus 3 class regarding motion velocity and acceleration. So we had just learned about uh, function, uh, vector valued functions. So R of T here represents position of a particle. So it moves with this vector valued function. Describe the motion in words and sketch the particle's path. Find the particle's position, velocity, and acceleration vectors at t equals zero and add the vectors to the sketch. So anytime you're looking at a vector valued function and you have cosines and sines, it's going to be uniform circular motion. So here, since our coefficients are both the same, that means it's actually going to be a circle of radius three. So if I draw this circle of radius three, there it is. Now I also know, see this is, let me label this a little bit, three, negative three, negative three, three. Now I also know that um, it's going to be going counterclockwise because there's no negatives in here and cosine is in the X position. So it's counterclockwise uniform circular motion. Counterclockwise uniform circular motion. Um, at one rotation, let's calculate one rotation because it doesn't hurt you to practice that. Is Let's see, so I know that one rotation will be the length of the period of this function. I know that B is equal to two and my period is going to be two pi over B. So the time that it takes to go around one time is going to be pi. So one rotation is length pi. And that means that t will go between zero and pi for one rotation. Now it didn't say to do that, but that's a nice reminder of what that two does for us in this problem. Okay. I don't even know if we'll need it in the problem. I just wanted to do it. So there's my description and the sketch the particles path. Whenever you're doing the path of a vector value function, make sure you do the direction. Now I have to find the particles position, velocity and acceleration. I need to find those vectors at t equals zero. So I know my position vector at any time t is given by this function, three cosine two t and three sine two t. But the problem says I need to find the position vector at zero. So that's going to be three cosine two times zero comma three sine of two times zero. So this gives me uh, three cosine of zero. So cosine at zero is one. So this should be three and three sine zero is zero. So that's my position vector at three zero. Now I'm going to add these vectors to my sketch. So let me see if I can find my colored pens to make it a little more interesting. So my position vector is the vector from the origin to the original position. So there is my position vector. Notice that it is three in the I direction, zero in the Y direction. So let's find uh, velocity. Well, my velocity vector in general for any t is just going to be r prime of t. And it's very convenient that if I want the derivative of my position, I just take the derivative of each of these pieces. So this is going to be three, I'm sorry, negative three sine of two t times two comma three cosine of two t times two. You should probably ask yourself where these other extra twos come from. Well, that's the chain rule. I take the derivative of the inside. So if I simplify this, minus six sine two t comma six cosine two t. And then the problem says that I need to find that vector at t equals zero. So sine of zero is zero. Cosine of zero is one, so this would be zero, six. So I'm gonna to go to the point that the green arrow is pointing to on the graph and I'm going to draw a vector of length six 
or I'm, I'm sorry, a vector of it is length 6, but it's going to be 0 in the i direction and 6 in the y direction. So that means that, let's see, if that's 3, then 6 will be double that. And notice it should be a tangent, or I'm sorry, a vector tangent to the curve. If this is representing position at any time t, at that point, my position vector should be tangent to the curve. This should be pointing to the point at which the particle is sitting at at time t equals 0. Now the last thing it says to do acceleration as well. So acceleration, as we know, is just uh, v prime or our double prime. But I'm going to go back up here to v and take its derivative. So the derivative sign is cosine, so minus 6 cosine 2t times 2, and this will be minus 6 sine 2t times 2. So I should be v prime here. So acceleration at any time t should be minus 12 cosine 2t, comma minus 12 sine 2t. And I have to plug in t equals 0 for the problem. So I know the cosine of 0 is 1, so it should be minus 12. The sine of 0 is 1, so that should be 0. So acceleration on that particle right at that point should be minus 12i, 0j. So that means I have to go 12 units away from this point. Let's do a different color. Let's do blue. So it's this 3, 6, 9, 12. So this should be a 0 right here. And then the green is going to be r of 0. So there's all the relationships, r, v, and a at a particular point t equals 0. And you can do this at any point that's on here. 0 is just easier. So that's the relationship between the vectors graphically and algebraically. I hope this helped.